Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your best life in Jesus Christ. In the last few weeks during the coronavirus panic and pandemic, I have talked about fear many times, but today I'm going to talk about courage. I mean, how do you define courage? Well, the, the dictionary offers two definitions. The ability to do something that frightens oneself and strengthen the face of pain and grief. Everyone admires someone who displays this type of courage in the face of overwhelming obstacles and fear. Think about it. Movies typically center their hero or heroine storyline about this theme or around this theme. If you look in the Bible, Jesus certainly displayed this type of courage while here on earth. He boldly faced critics and ultimately the cross. Knowing Jesus would lose his life for the sake of you and me, the Apostle Matthew depicts these final hours leading up to Jesus being arrested in Matthew 26. My soul is sorrowful even to death, Jesus said, and yet he continued along the path God laid out for him. Whew, talk about courage in the face of fear, and all because of his love for you and me. Thankfully, Jesus' story didn't end on the cross. After paying the ultimate price for our sins, Jesus rose again that we might have a relationship with God the Father. Jesus' act of courage redeemed mankind. More often than not, living courageously doesn't require a life or death decision, thank the Lord, but it might feel like it in the moment. We've all had a season in life where we've had a choice. Move in courage or shrink back in fear. What the movies often don't depict in their happily ever after ending is what comes next. Living cor courageously is rarely a one and done moment, but a daily decision in how we approach every day and every fear. In what areas of your life is God asking you to walk boldly and courageously for him? Is it at work or at home? Maybe you're facing health or financial crisis and just getting out of bed every morning takes tremendous courage. We need to ask Jesus for the strength and wisdom to know how to live courageously. Not only today, but every day. You never know who might be watching. I mean, can you imagine the pressure Joshua felt when God recruited him to follow Moses? I mean, Moses spent so much time with God that he glowed in the dark. But Moses didn't get the people into the promised land. And God said, you're up, Joshua. I want you to do what Moses couldn't. Why do you think God told him to be courageous and strong seven times? I have a suspect that it was because he was frightened and discouraged. Deuteronomy 31.6, he tells him, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. God's message to Joshua is just as relevant to the church today. We need to show the same courage for our faith that we show in the pursuit of our professions, in the protection of our families, in the defense of our favorite sports team. Let, don't let the greatest effort, or our greatest effort, be directed at the secondary things in our lives. Let's be strong and courageous for the Lord. We have a choice. I can choose to be afraid and worry about our safety, about the church, about the future, or I can choose to be brave and trust God that he has been with us in the past and he'll be with us in the future. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy 1.7, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The truth is, any fear I have is not from God. He doesn't give us fear ever. At times like this, when fear floods in, we have to remember courage is not a feeling. <laughs> courage is a noun, the strength to go forward even in the face of fear. One of the Hebrew words for courage is ruah, ruah, R-U-A-H, I don't know how to pronounce it, which can mean breath of God and is used in Genesis to describe God's creative activity. Just as he did in Genesis 1, God is creating something out of nothing in you and me. Alone we don't possess confidence, courage, or bravely, bravery. He forms this fortitude where there has been a void where it's never existed before. 
he's very good at making something out of nothing. He's God. So that's what I think we need to pray for today. Courage for me, courage for us as a church, and courage for you today. Let's choose courage over fear, at least for today. I hope you have a fantastic day today. I want you to remember that I'm here if you need me. And I love you all.